Hello folks, welcome back to the channel. My name is Joel Duggan and we are back in Satisfactory again today. Had a fun morning hanging out with Pixel Riffs over on the Spawn Chunks podcast. We did a behind the scenes Minecraft hangout with all of our patrons over there. It was a good time. So that's out for everybody that is supporting that show over at patreon.com slash the Spawn Chunks. I am full of pancakes and ready to do some satisfactory building with you all today. Hope everyone's having a good afternoon. It's afternoon for me. I normally stream at one and it is that time of day. Blast Jordan, Dan Grice, we've got uh, Sweet Sandy kicking around in the chat as well. And Blast Jordan kicking off the stream with a tier one subscription. Thanks very much, Blast. That's amazing. Oh, look, a button says Blast. <laughs> I think I might look into getting some text to speech for for uh, subscriptions, especially people that have been around for so long. Uh, 17 months is, is fantastic, Blast. That's really, really cool. And uh, for folks that don't know, until the 31st of October, a tier one sub and a gift sub uh, are also things that will get you three months of Discord Nitro. So there should be a link in chat. If you do Bang Nitro, uh, you can follow that link and uh, figure out how to connect your Discord and your Twitch accounts and redeem Discord Nitro for three months. So let's jump in and see what is going on in Satisfactory. We left off yesterday. Finishing up the Sunstreaker factory. I don't remember what time of day it is. I think it's close to nighttime. I had to do some screenshots after, so maybe not. I don't know. Uh, it is indeed nighttime. I probably logged out at night knowing that I'd be starting the stream again. So now we don't have to worry about it too much. Uh, but I realized that uh, we don't have an overflow for the cable. And we only just set up the overflow for the circuit boards and it sort of works sort of not working i'm kind of surprised right now there's two more coming i guess we'll know if they come out this this belt whether it's actually working it looks like probably no we're only making a few extra i guess we could always check our totals Let's see what's coming in here well it was 143, so we're getting some. So that's good. I do feel like there was something I was not remembering. Um, there's no backup because we've got... Um, computers are going into storage, but then into overflow. So we're never going to really back up the system. It's only the cable that could back up a little bit. And so I don't really know. I think what I was toying around with was adding in overflow on the cable right there. This is just a regular splitter. Yeah. So I could put overflow in the cable, take it underneath the floor. That would bring it over to this area. And we could attach it to here, I want to say. I don't know that would show up. I don't think that would go through the wall. No. Okay. Let's mark one. This is only pumping out 40, I want to say. It's the last little thing. So what we can do here is replace this little guy. I think I should be able to just swap it. So nine. And I just need to configure it. Overflow, cable, and then cable. So this really shouldn't do anything unless the system backs up. Right. Realize I didn't um, paint these belts either. So then out here, what we can do is put down a single Actually, I'll probably have to go through all through here. I realize I probably put a four meter 
floor hole? Yeah, I'll have to change that. Change this. Go back to one. And then we should be able to get down here. So this might be a little bit tricky. This is the hill. And I'll do this. And then we just add this. That's in the middle. Probably better to go this way. So we're cheating a little bit. It is going to go through the ground. That's fine. And that's only going to happen if the machine backs up. And this is a merger. Where's the output? Input, input, input. Okay, so the output is on the left. I guess the easiest way to test this would be to throw in some extra cable, right? So if I go into this machine and I just do an extra 87 cable, technically that would back up the machine. It only needs 40. So hopefully what we'll see is cable eventually coming along here, and that would be successful. Alistario, hello, welcome in. Computer, computer, plastic. Maybe I didn't put enough cable in, I should have. I guess I have to put enough in to fill the actual belts too. Nothing so far. Loki, good to see you. Cosmic Dancer, hello. Not seeing cable. Still flowing. So I guess these would have to be filled up too. Okay. Well, I won't wait for that. We'll just let that go. Um, that's it as far as as far as I know. The only other thing I need to think about in here is just like I feel like some of it has been flat in terms of the colors. I liked what I did downstairs with some of the color accents and stuff. I don't know whether this would look better with orange. And I know it's inconsistent with what we did over the other side because the other side has got windows up top like this but I was wondering if we could actually have like red accents up there
Maybe this could be red? I kind of like that. Kind of like that. Um, what else could we do here? We were battling with these big empty walls and how to handle them. I know I could probably be a little bit more consistent. Here. We added in the lights last time and that worked out really well. the front is also kind of bland we do have this extra layer which I like but I feel like we need to add more color maybe we could do more of this kind of thing that's just like a couple of triangles so I could have maybe something like this Maybe we could then echo the shape of the window above. Just needs more contrast, it needs more metal stuff happening. The more I do, the more it looks like a cat. <laughs> and I don't know how to unsee it. Cosmic, just popping your head in quietly. Appreciate the lurk. Thank you. Stream time and doggy playtime start at the same time for Sandy. Well, I mean, priorities are doggy playtime, obviously. I would have a hard time streaming with a puppy around for sure. When I eventually get a dog, I will 100% put up a puppy cam. You can all expect that. For sure. But unfortunately, we have to go up with this layer because of the terrain. It needs to be up that high. Just doesn't sit right. I think maybe we need another light. And do we want those to be orange? Or maybe red? Like the ones we had over here. I like these ones. They worked out well. Would a dark maroon work instead of orange? Well, I'm trying to keep with the um, the colors for Sunstreaker, right? Got the... So he's got there's a little bit of red, but there's no real maroon. He's very bright. When you go to these Gen 1 Transformers, like, they are very primary colors. They really don't deviate too much. So that actually might be better if it was the same orange that we've got at the base of this sign. Oh, that's a red. Hmm. It does sort of work. Okay. 
I do like that better than what I tried over here. Drives me crazy that it's the middle of the day and yet I have to turn on the um, the headlamp to see what I'm doing. I wish there was a way to better balance that in the game. I guess we should just do carbon steel all the way through. Vertical pupils really excel the cat look. <laughs> well, for me, it's these look like eyeballs, right? It's just hard not to see. I think we need more of these, too. So I don't have that image opened up on my computer. It should have opened up with Streamlabs, but it doesn't appear to be... Doing the thing. Seems to have more red on him than blue. I also didn't incorporate any of the silver on his backpack yet. One thing I do find challenging with streaming is um, very much have used up all of my screen real estate and then I just end up with a bunch of tabs open. It's a lot of gray on that bottom part. Maybe they need to be black. Thought I tried this before, but maybe not. Now it just looks like a raccoon. Hmm. All right, we'll move on from the windows and see what we can do with this space here. Not crazy about those. I think maybe we need to get rid of them on the side here, but I don't know what else we could do. I feel like it just needs another layer. And I'm wondering if having something here would be good. Maybe even something that goes upside down. I think it would probably have to follow this.
Yeah, that works. It's about those Lamborghini lines, you know? It's really what I'm trying to go after. He does have these really big red patches on his shoulders. I wonder if I can fit those in anywhere. Maybe... I've always felt that these are kind of distracting. I wonder if we had these... as red? I wonder if it would look good? Yeah, I know, it's sort of, once you see the face, it's kind of hard to unsee. I kind of like the red, you know. That might change some of the stuff inside, though. Oh, I don't know. That's not a bad change. Don't really see it through here. Yeah, I like that. That might be an issue, but we'll see what we can do. Maybe we have to change the railings to red. Sometimes bold choices are the good ones. This is going to change. I don't necessarily think I need that there. Uh, what I do want, though, if that's going to be red, I feel like I need to have like a yellow, almost like a yellow border overlapping it so like I'd almost want to add a little bit here how would I do that I guess it would have to be a different angle. Yeah, that's weird. Don't know if I'm crazy about that.
I like the red, but I just don't know about the way that it overlaps. I think maybe the top and bottom need to be similar, so we've got... What's happening there? Yeah, it's this weird line without any kind of depth change that feels strange. So maybe we could change the way that this comes out here and turn it into something similar to what we have up top. So I could continue this as a single. Oh, that has to stay. And then grab this. That's better. And then that continues that pattern of having like a straight piece and a triangle piece together. I think maybe I have to just mirror the height over here. It feels weird that it's asymmetrical. I know we lose this detail down here, but it, to me it's just a little bit strange. One below. straight or do I want to do I guess I want to do straight four meters I think I would rather do two meters with a bump. Well, that comes out by a little bit too, doesn't it? And I just, I might be able to knock that back. It's tricky when you're trying to keep the terrain from showing through. That's something in DLC that I would love for them to give us, is the ability to control, oh yeah, to control the terrain, to make changes to something like this. Right now I've got to come up with a way to stagger that and the only thing I can think of would be like a half meter. Which is not the end of the world.
And unfortunately, we don't even need it over here. And that's the look that I would prefer. But we'll go with this. And honestly, we might even want to go a little bit farther. With this one here. Maybe we'll go with a two meter instead. Hmm. Yeah, I'm not exactly sure what to do about this. We need this one. But I can't even create like a tight corner. I wonder... These ones don't come in... <laughs> New DLC idea, shovel. I just think it would be fun if they gave us the ability... Like even just if the grass would start growing. That's not even a DLC. I think that would just be like a cool free improvement. Like, hey, by the way, if you build foundations over the grass, then the terrain will still be the terrain. Like, this stuff would still be the same. It's this stuff that sticks up through your builds. And just, just remove it. It's less for the game to render in. Right? Uh, this begs to to decide, can we... Let me change this a little bit. better. And then we just have to change the angles on this, I think. Uh, oh no, we left those the same. So that's, that's, that's what works. Cool. And I just have to run inside and make sure that be a nice quality of life. Yeah, I agree. Nice quality of life change would be that terrain ratchets away. I feel like we probably have to paint these now red. Now this, that's an inside wall, so I have to leave that the way that it is. This, does that show up anywhere? I think it does. Yes, so that's going to stay too. This I'm okay changing. Stairwell. That is right. A little weird, it's a little rainbowy, but I like it. Do we continue it over here?
I think yes. Yeah. All right, copy paste. Let's go. Oh, this is going to be interesting because we can see this, I think, from the inside. New problems arising. And right, this is going to have to be different. And that started one below. fun to do something that comes out a little bit thicker so do that hmm Maybe just tweak those to red. I wish that lined up better. Really strange that it doesn't. Oh, I guess there's a beam there, that's why. Uh, I could nudge them. I could nudge that, hold on. Doesn't let me zoop down, which is weird. back. Nice. That's a decent problem solved. Now this is probably not going to be a straight edge like that. I wonder if I should make the whole thing red. What's the plan for the day? Pave paradise, put up a parking lot, roll out, transform, make things pink? There's no pink. No pink. It's like Edna mode. No capes. No pink. Mind trip media with 100 bits. Sorry, I missed that. 
Thanks very much. Really appreciate that. Cheers. Yeah, I think we definitely put the end on this. Now the real question is, what have I done to my insides? What have I done to the interiors? How bad does this look inside? I know I like it on the outside, but inside it's going to be a different story. Wow. That's, uh, why is that? Oh, that's that side, okay. Challenge accepted, I guess? What is going on that that's only half done? Oh, because it's behind the wall? Build stairs, floats through stairwell. <laughs> right, so I just didn't do it because I couldn't target it from this side. All right, well... Obviously, we can do some overlap, and that's fine. Uh, here, we can get creative with some shapes and some overlapping, I think. That's not at all where I thought that was going to go. Here I, w I was thinking we were done with this build. You know what? That probably looks a little bit better too. Just in terms of like a structural thing. Probably that's outside, I think. Yes. I feel like this may have to be all red. It's not planning on that. Not planning on that at all. really like is something like this. And then we do the same thing over here. And then we follow the angle here.
feel like that works out pretty well. Again, it's not perfect. We could nudge that forward, but then it wouldn't match up quite as nicely. Although, say that, I might as well try it. No, there's no real way to do it. Okay, that's fine. It's not as bad. Feels a little bit more intentional there. I almost want to add in like a something wrapping around here, which we could just do with paint. Then that gets into the outside, I think. Yeah, never mind. Sorry, the stream watching is awful, Cosmic. Sometimes the mobile platforms are not great. Okay. I'm alright with that. I feel like we need to um, perhaps continue this beam. Got a slightly softer look. Actually, maybe we need to do two parts. Oh, it doesn't quite. Well, we'll go with that. That looks better than going through it, I think. I don't think we need a bottom ledge. I think that's okay. So we have to do the same thing over here. I think that should be fine. Although, might as well. Cool. And... I think that's all we did, and then just grab this. I think one more up here. It's weird how we've had to add so much red, but I'll take it. Oh no, this is—I definitely want an undo button. I totally went for an like a Control Z right there, hundred percent. to see what that looks like outside. Whoops. Yeah. 
I mean, it definitely adds more detail in here where we thought we were lacking. I do, I do like it in general. These show up a lot nicer too, which is cool. All right, how does this look outside? Um, no bottom ledge. Where do you put the flowers? <laughs> Fair assessment. I don't know. We can also change that out here too. This got changed somehow. I don't know what happened there. I feel like this might just continue along the whole thing. I do find that once you get in a creative flow in this game, it, you can really put things together quite quickly, which is nice. that on the front and I also need to figure out how I did this other thing too I liked this little thing we did here it was just lining up with the bottom and then two of those Also had several of these. Nudging really opens up so much in the game, for sure. All right, now here, I can probably just grab... Um, that's... A full section. Full section. So we're going to need to go top section. Wait, this had like a big old... I don't think I want to do the big old angle on it over there. Maybe we'll just try to tighten this up. I should be able to put in a wall? As long as that doesn't show up in... Oh my gosh. Uh, famous last words. As long as that doesn't show up inside, which of course it absolutely does. Um, I don't know how to finesse this.
think we probably keep that where it was. It's probably going to be better to take that all the way to the ground. Or do an upside down ramp. There we go. And then we'll bring this forward. How do I fill in the angle is the question. I think the easiest thing to do is going to be to just put this in here. Line it up so it looks like it works. Maybe this is where we put the wall. And then here we just fill this in. Yeah, that's good. Almost nighttime again. Nago needs it out for a. a a break of their own. I guess I need to take a break too. I do find it funny that my moderators will take me out for a break at the same just like they're walking their dog. <laughs> uh, I appreciate it. I do find sometimes I laugh at the dance monkey dance nature of it, which is very claptrap. While I still have daylight, I'm going to try to get this backside done. What, uh, what did I do? So it's one of those and then straight down. Okay. We haven't quite popped over to the, the sunset just yet. There's the pop. I don't know. This line is really rough. And that got hidden over there. How was that hidden over there? Oh, because that's outside. Right. I may just want to mimic that. Actually, that's what I do. I don't have... That's not symmetrical. Okay, I'll fix that when I get back. Uh, is there a brake train coming? Nope. Brake train. For those of you that are new to the channel, I take a break about once an hour. Gives me a chance to reheat the coffee. 
and gives you a chance to tell a friend about the stream. And I will be back in five or seven minutes.
turn off the self-driving, which I usually forget about. Alright, how are we feeling about this bold red choice in the light of day? I like it. I don't know about the orange eyebrow, but I like the red. And I think what we're going to do is mimic this on the other side. We'll bring this out. Oh, I dropped the wrong thing. I want that. And that will mean that we can keep this yellow. And make the outside red. We did that on the other side. Double triangle. Not gonna play nice, not gonna play nice. That does that. This changes to red. Same thing over here. And we put in the window, which is down farther. Now, the only thing I find funny is this space here being yellow. A weird line. I don't quite know the best way to sort that out. Here, I almost want to come up. Sort of looks okay. Again, very strange with this line. I'm not exactly sure how to fix that. Maybe... It's okay. I think maybe it would be better if I didn't have this then. Oh, do these need to be these need to be changed? I think. Yeah. 
Thanks, Dan. like that solution. Question is how do we do it up here in such a small space? <laughs> we are going to put a ledge on the inside so well we have put a ledge on the inside so there, we've got two layers here so I can change the color of this outside and it's not going to affect the inside. So I might be able to Remove those two. Have one of these going like this. very busy. That was close. Did I have that going the wrong way? I have that going the wrong way. The yellow slants down that way. Just doesn't quite work the same way, does it? Well, maybe this top part has to be read the whole way down. that black although maybe we change the railings out here to red now long live clone 99 great reference and thank you very much for the follow hope you're having a good Saturday are you a satisfactory player how'd you follow the stream how'd you find us Maybe Minecraft Spawn Chunks podcast. Maybe even the Citadel Cafe podcast. I would be surprised if that was the case. Uh, we're going to check this, this to red. So I'm just going to do this from the outside and see if we can't fix it on the inside. This may be the missing red accent that I wanted on the inside. I actually, I kind of want to make this red too. Ah, it looks like a burn when I do that. Weird how black and red too close together brings up the barn vibes. Oh yeah, that's cool. Don't mind that. We may go red here too. 
It's all outs or inside walls. This is all an inside wall. That's all the same. That looks normal. Looks to be the same. Ah, so we've got this. And that could stay there, but it could just look cooler if we added some depth to it. I don't mind it. And I'm just wondering if we just brought this in. Helps that connect. And then none of this changed, so that's good. And then we just have to worry about the inside here. I actually, I think I'm going to make these ones blue. And... Where does this go? Okay. That has to stay yellow, but I'm kind of wondering just for fun if I did this on the custom swatch. Spawn Chunks is how Long Live Flow 99 found us. Good stuff. Always good to hear when someone that watches uh, or listens to the Spawn Chunks uh, decides to come over and check out the, the Citadel stuff as well as the... Um, the satisfactory um because i know it's not normally the a lot of game crossover with there are some people in the spawn chunks community that are playing satisfactory though uh i guess i need to change i need this yellow color uh, default and i need this blue color now this is just for my own satisfaction. That's all. <laughs> That's all I wanted to do, is make a blue door. I don't think I need to make the whole thing blue. I think we're fine. Because for that, I could just do that, right? But then it's got this weird ledge. It's already a little strange. But this is our electrical area. Oh, I don't think I have any... Yeah. Finish this up in here. Nice. I should put a railing there. That's inside factory wall. Yes. I almost want to make that blue because this is also electrical. No, I think it looks better orange. Okay, so this is all good. We need some railing corrections. Kind of wonder now whether this would benefit from having that red. I kind of like this continuation. I'll do that here too. Whoops. 
Now, the question is, how do we handle this when it goes across the gap? If at all. Maybe we just remove it? I guess we just leave it. I guess it should kind of come down farther, shouldn't it? Maybe we just don't and have it stop here. That is a little bit weird. Maybe that's the ticket. feels very rainbow to have so many different colors. Oh, I did that wrong, didn't I? This strange. It's almost like I need to have something here, like a console or a workbench or something. Like you need to kind of hide the strange little gap. That's hidden outside, I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. a decent detail. I feel like you were responsible for 50% of those in the SpongeBob community who now play Satisfactory. Hey, I'll take it. I think that's great. I, I'm happy to introduce Minecraft players to other games. And I, I don't mean to sound um, negative here in any way, but I do find a lot of Minecraft players, Minecraft is like the only game that they play. And um, it's always great to have more variety happening, right? Embrace the rainbow, Joel. It is your destiny. <laughs> Gee, I wonder what could have been meant by that. I wonder. I guess we could just do matching.
Same thing, there's a pillar outside, so it's not going to be... I prefer the yellow. That window is in a different spot, too. Actually, this is all completely hidden. We could even have a little... I mean, it's got a light, which is cool. But we could even change this, right? what I was hoping it would be. Hmm. We gotta go back outside and make sure we're finishing up these red pieces. Jim, hello, how's it going? So I think we're good all the way along here. I feel like this should maybe come down. do this. I feel like that keeps with the pattern. Put a sign behind your workbench with a fix-it logo that says safety third. <laughs> it's a really cool factory design. Thanks, Jim. Uh, we're basing it off of um, Sunstreaker, the Transformer. So that's why we've got all these weird sort of lines going on and the red pops and stuff. Uh, I think we can benefit from a little bit of an angle here. And but now it's just a matter of sorting out this top part for the last bit. I know I was hoping to finish this up, but I just, I'm not sure about the yellow or the orange stripe here. I'm certainly not crazy about those. I guess down here they might make sense, but... Hmm.
Maybe it's these ones that have to go. Maybe we can cut them in half and have them be not as noticeable. I feel like maybe I need to lower this. I don't know whether that's going to look good or not. I don't want to remove too much of the yellow. I think I can put a ramp in here. I feel like at some point we have to decide how this is going to go. I think we're good. I don't see anything else sticking out at me that says fix me. Outside of the stuff that I've just been struggling with the whole time and I have no idea how to fix. I like the red change back here actually. That's pretty cool. I know I'm Kibitz does a lot of black and red. I need to fix how this works on this side too, don't I? Um, how did I do that? There's like an angle that continued through here. Uh, how did I do that on the other side? Uh, you watched the new Transformers 1 film today. It's actually quite, uh, you actually quite enjoyed it. I really liked it. Um, I've been wanting to talk about it on a new episode of the Citadel Cafe, but uh, Hashi, I think that that film had, and I say this with all respect, no business having as much character development as it actually did. Normally, those kind of things are like nostalgia cash grabs, a couple of A-list you know, actors with um, Chris Hemsworth and, and um, Scarlett Johansson. And you think the script is going to be just kind of like a bunch of fluff and silly stuff for for kids. And it wasn't. The The character arc for Megatron was ridiculously good. So we go down a step and then over by one. And Hashi, thanks for coming in. Um, how did you find the stream? Uh, so we can't see it over here. Okay, so that's not going to be a thing. Not going to be a thing we can do. Which means that we have, we're stuck with this line on this side. The only thing I can think of 
is adding like another layer. Just doesn't look good. I think we've got to move on. But unless I've messed things up somewhere, that's actually pretty good. Oh, how did I? No, that's fine. I just not looked at it from this angle. And this is the exit, so it's special. Don't really have any hallway lights. This keeps on happening too, which bugs me. It's random every time I log in. And all you have to do is replace it, but then it just eventually it starts to happen again. watched you a few times now i like your style just started a new co-op playthrough yesterday a becky and monica frontier adventure very cool a new co-op like satisfactory playthrough and that's great that's cool that you just kind of organically discovered me on twitch that does not happen very often there's a mod that fixes the z fighting oh that's interesting jim i didn't know about that Raul, you've been a bit back and forth between does it look uh, like a cat raccoon? It actually reminds me a little bit of Bumblebee, which I know isn't intended, but it looks good. Well, thanks. Yeah, it's it's inside, I think, looks a lot better now. I'm really happy with the the, the choices in here. I believe that looks good. Um, I think everything up here looks good. I'm happy with this stuff. Yeah, there's not much that really goes like, ugh, disgusting. I wonder if we're getting more, I think it was 165 was our circuit boards. Yeah, we haven't had any more. That's odd. You'd think that we'd be backed up. They must just... See if we can actually catch it before we move move on. We're we gonna see actual circuit board overflow. Oh my gosh, really? None. I'm really concerned that that isn't working. Must be just the right speed. It must be 24 seconds. How long does it take to make one of these? Eight seconds. Must be just the right three to one or three to two ratio. Isn't the pioneer's name Becky? I have no idea. If that's story, story stuff, we haven't gotten that far. Wait, you can put customizers in the hotbar? Yep. Yeah, you can put anything in here. So you can put numbers, you can put materials, you can put colors. And you know about multiple hotbars, right? You just hold down Alt and scroll through the different ones. Not entirely convinced we're getting the belts are just large enough.
It's like it moves five and we get five. Come on. Oh, based on the poster in the hub toilet. Oh, I don't know. These have got a storage buffer too. Just give me one. Just show me one flowing correctly. Darn it. All right, well, that's boring. We're not going to sit and do that. I think we're good. Now. Next, I guess, we need to think about... Um, well, one, I need to drop off some more bauxite for aluminum, I think. Let's just quickly do that. And then maybe we need to fix, fix the um, fix up wheel jack here. I've got some temporary stuff going on in wheel jack that I'm not a big fan of. I did not bring my jack pack. Coal's good. So I'm a long way from doing a permanent aluminum setup. I think quartz was the other thing we needed to check on. And Wheeljack needs better back doors. That's the next thing. All that way and I could have dumped off other stuff. Don't need all that plastic with me. I'm not sure where that came from. I have an aluminum thing here. Remember if we have anything else in the awesome shop to unlock. Uh, do, 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 do. Don't necessarily need or want those old walkways. I'd rather focus on other stuff. We've not really used the new stairs. I don't have that yet. I've never... That might be fun to mess around with. We've got all of these now? Wow, I didn't realize we had all of those. Okay. I mean, I guess Caterium Paint it is, right? I guess there's nothing else I need. Yeah, might as well. That's 10 out of the 13. Nothing there. I wish that they would give you like a check mark at the top to say you've got everything in this, but I guess we just... Let's go with... I guess we'll just grab those other two boxes. And do I have the copy mug? I don't think I have the copy mug. We'll grab that.
Official Fix-It Coffee Cup Unlocked. Do not purchase unauthorized Fix-It Coffee Cups. They have been known to explode and attract wasps. Unauthorized <laughs> Fix-It Coffee Cups lower your attractiveness to your preferred gender and or your sense of well-being if you have no gender attraction or preference. <laughs> official Fix-It products can be licensed for your use from official Awesome Shop installations only. Come to the best shop on the planet for the best deals on all official Fix-It supplies, guaranteed. It was really cool that they added that to the coffee mug. I don't remember that from before. That's great. Very, very cool. For anybody that doesn't know, you can actually uh, drink out of this. But it, but it makes a clink sound because <laughs> it hits your face mask. Um, it's great when you're um, you get annoyed by like having the chainsaw in your hands, and then every time you like go to do something, you switch it to the menu. And you build something and you just change and then it comes back up again so you can just use the coffee cup and so it doesn't make any animations it just kind of like sits there which is which is fun makes for good screenshots too uh kit cat bars very halloween appropriate name uh subscribing with prime thanks very much for the prime sub i really appreciate that that's that's very kind of you uh, make sure you connect your Discord and your Twitch accounts. You can join the Joel Duggan Discord for the month that you have Prime assigned to the channel. I really appreciate it. Hopefully you'll, you'll have some fun in there. It's a bunch of like-minded adults talking about video games like Satisfactory and Minecraft and movies and tabletop games and all that kind of stuff. And uh, I don't know if a Prime sub goes towards the Discord Nitro, but if you do bang Nitro in chat, then um, Tier 1 subs and gift subs at least for sure this month uh, allow you to get a um, three months of Discord Nitro for free. Um, I should have looked up to see whether that apply, applied to Prime. The coffee was more important before you could just press H to hide the tool. I agree, Jim, but the problem there is that sometimes uh, I do find that the stuff comes back up. I don't know what uh, I'm I'm doing, but sometimes when I have something in my hand and I'm not using it and I have pressed H, it does come back up depending on what I'm doing. Um, so I do find the coffee cup is a more peaceful solution. Ah, Cosmic is confirming that Prime subs do not go towards Nitro. Sorry. Thanks. Thanks for that, Cosmic. Appreciate it. And sorry for the, the misleading information there, KitKat. But um, for anybody else that's wondering, gift subs and, and tier ones give you uh, three months of Nitro. Okay. Uh, this is kind of a mess. I also, outside of just designing the back doors of this place, I don't have anything else on my to-do list. I don't think we're really hurting for power. I I really don't like this. I really don't like that at all. I want to fix it. Oh god, yes, we're we're fine. This I guess could get a redesign too. That would be cool. I don't know if I don't think I want to keep that there. I think I want to move this somewhere else. It could be cool on top of on top of this building? I, don't, I wonder if it would... I feel like it would fit right there. We can make it white. That would actually be kind of fun. Hold on. Oh, it totally fits. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I guess we would put it that way. Excuse me. I mean, maybe not so close to the back. We'd have to make some adjustments, perhaps. It does look better if it's like in the middle. It only rotates in the square. Okay. That's definitely a possibility. I think that could be fun. 
because then we can remove that really old nonsense from there and kind of do the same sort of like little nature preserve thing we did in there. I don't, we don't really have the power coming in here the best way. We have to figure that out. I've also not done a good job of this. We also have uh, the wheel jack designs. I don't know if I have that on a board right now, but um, he's got these kind of like wings and I thought they would look kind of cool coming off the back kind of here. I think that could be fun. And that might be a good way to tie, like tie into this. Could almost frame in the hub a little bit. Because obviously there's a lot of stuff back here that's very temporary. This is also temporary as well. Because we were originally going to put this here. But I think we can forget that. It sort of looks like a rock stage. <laughs> Just realized that. Okay, uh, well, let's take a look at the ma'am and see if there's anything we can unlock. Uh, I also have my new customizer things. I've not really messed with this at all. Very shiny. Very gold finger. Very Mike Myers. And then what else did we get? All right, those and the coffee mug. Not that we've got to use those anytime soon, but I think that's good. Okay, um, mega fauna just requires more proteins and stuff. Oh, I'm not doing any of the sulfur. Maybe we should work on the sulfur. Yeah, hard drives and whatever that is. Um, smokeless powder. That's a refinery situation. That needs coal. Did we not? I guess I didn't do that. That's something we should do. Radio signal scanning. We should do that. I'll do that when I get back. I am going to grab a break. I do this about once an hour. It is that time. I'm going to grab a slightly longer break just so I can stream a little bit longer today. I'm going to grab transport truck. Train and oh, I want. I uh, will go Mirage and Wheeljack. I need to think about what our next move is. Besides decorating um, Wheeljack, so um, hang on to your butts. We'll be back in about ten minutes or so, and uh, we'll continue on. Message from Cosmic. Oh, this is strange one. It says beep, 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 go for a break. I think they fell over whilst typing. <laughs> thanks for the stream sticker, Cosmic. I really appreciate it. And I think I said thanks for the, the one earlier, the Darth Vader. Um, 200 bits. Really, really appreciate those. Thanks ever so much.
gotta say that looks pretty cool coming around the uh, the waterfall there pretty cool I feel like we might need another hover track or something a little bit closer to it I don't know it's hard to say the other thing that looks terrible <laughs> is this area right here Definitely not been great at keeping this looking nice. Thank you, Cosmic. Thank you, Dan. So we were going to work on some of the stuff in the MAM. Wheeljack is always just a work in progress. color that by accident? I feel like I might have colored that by accident. Dan, uh, Don Raff, hello, how's it going? I was a quartz? Yeah, this one. 100 motors, 100 oscillators, and a scanner. Motors are easy. Oscillators are maybe easy. A hundred of them is a lot, though. Oh, maybe we don't have a hundred of those. Just. We need to make more crystal oscillators. I thought I had a lot more of those. Where would I have put those? Probably upstairs. Nope. Interesting. Okay. We need those for big signs, so let's get this back to doing its thing. That's got a lot of crystal. I feel like I can spare that for now. Put that in here. We'll go back to crystal oscillators. Actually, cable. I don't want to have to redo all of these belts. So let's keep this on sand fluctuators. I'll grab those back. I'll do the crystal oscillators over here. With that. Cable is already here. I need quartz crystal and reinforced iron plates. Do quartz crystal. Four iron plates. So now I just need to grab all this stuff. Cable. We're not automating crystal oscillators. That might be a good thing to do. It's already got cable. Whatever. Um, reinforced plates. I feel like they've increased the speed that you fly horizontally with the hover pack, maybe. And we won't use all the crystal, but we'll use a good chunk of it. Forty-five, so thirty-six, twenty-eight, and five. 
Yeah, this should be fine. And then this is going to do almost as many. I don't, I really wish I had more summer slopes. And just where are these going to go? They're, oh, they're not going to go anywhere because that's stuck. Uh, right. solve that problem. This is just going around in circles. Make sure that they're getting somewhere. There we go. Good. Uh, we don't actually need any circuit boards. I don't think this is making circuit boards. This is making AI limiters. And it needs a little boost. Cool. And then this is all just extra stuff. What's this? Okay, cool. I like Satisfactory. Thanks for the follow. I like Satisfactory 2. Even though you're Satisfactory 1, I like Satisfactory 2. The quartz? Yes. Now we can scan for hard drives. Object scanner magnetic sensitivity increased. It can now detect the signal of any hard drives at crash sites in your region. Uh, factory as always is looking gorgeous. Thanks very much, Don Raff. I really appreciate that. Uh, the need for more summer sloops is eternal. Yeah, no kidding, right? And it boring them from one thing when I just need to boost the output of certain things. Yeah, it's really good for like the space elevator. I wish I had thought about it sooner. I don't really care about that. Um, so I'm not worried about this. It's more the sulfur stuff. And we need hard drives to unlock turbo fuel. And I need, um, smokeless powder. Inventory stuff would be good. Wasn't sure if you've seen the question from above. No, I must, I must have missed it. Um, how are you, how do you plan your rails? I load myself into satisfactory calculator so I can see my base on a map. I, I do that in my major save. In my big save, um, the Devastator save, I 100% loaded it into satisfactory calculator and kind of planned the routes. Uh, I also will use the map and throw down um, train path blocks where I think a good train path would be. We ended up going along here as opposed to through this way. Um, as you can see, the train goes around. Um, but yeah, I feel like a lot of people end up doing the same thing. They just they make a ring around the whole map, right? But uh, yeah, that's that's how I plan them. I just I try to stay on the vertical grid, but I'll go off grid if I feel like it. The big thing that for me this this time around was going with like the the hover platforms, making it look like they're anti gravity supported. That to me was a big freedom. Um, part of, of the design for sure. I really have not settled on how I want to do like roads and, and stuff like this. I really don't like the way that the foundations are laid out around here, but there's really not much. You know, I haven't really figured out the best way to do that. I much prefer to build on a big platform above the ground and giving me full control where I'm not constantly running into rocks and edges and things. And I'm not a big fan of, of the fact that you can't destroy some things in the map. It's kind of a pain. Um, well, let's make good on that idea to move the um, power augmenter. Put 
pretty sure those are used. Oh, no, maybe not. Those are. So we'll leave those the way that they are. Um, how... Where's the power actually go into the augmenter? It's like on the side or something, isn't it? Okay, so it's by the little light, so we'll have to put that on the back. Yeah, there's a couple of streams on Joel Dug and VODs on YouTube of me actually building this tree network. And you can I kind of like line things up with like how I want the views to be, very much like I do in Minecraft. Right, so this is gonna be on the back. Power augmenter. The power is going to come right there. That should be easy enough. At least temporarily. Cool. One of my power grids shut down. Well, that's weird. I guess that was a through connection. Huh. Good to know. I must it must have. Oh yeah, that's how the building is connected. Right. Uh, let's go. And H. Looks like the middle to me. noises. have to connect this back up. And this is going to be interesting. So why did that die? I guess just removing the boost just killed the network? That was weird. So this needs to be a lot more simple. Currently, that's where the power is going into the building. And I feel like I need to potentially change that. We do have power plugs along the base of these um, holes. I could bring the power in over here. But for now, I guess what we'll do is where is the power coming from here? Oh, it's down there. We're still using the old, old system. Do I have a plug here? No. All right, well, we can clean that up, no problem. Let's put, maybe we can put a tower on top of that. That's probably going to be the easiest thing.
It is already here. Yeah, let's, let's do that. Do I have my hover pack back? Hope I do. Yes. Guess we could just go off in the distance this way. through the thing. And let's grab another one of these and we'll just go, I guess, out here. So then I can get rid of this line. I guess I should probably change these back to something more neutral. Uh, that's all fine. Are we getting power here? Yep. Okay. So now this is the point where the grid comes into the base. Spokes off there, goes to here. Now I just need to connect this to one of these. And it never looks good. I feel like they could have designed these just a little bit better. That's annoying. That should have everything in here up and running again. Green lights, good, good. So this is still messy. Um, but then this is coming in through here. That's going out that way. This is connecting to there. I don't need this anymore. I unfortunately still need this part. Slightly nicer. Slightly more... more clean. At least clearer. We make this green? No. White. So I will figure out a way to incorporate that into the build. Uh, this. Ooh. 
There we go. Wow, that's a huge drop. Capacity really gets a knock. This thing is essential to us not having constant power problems. That is for sure. Um, J. Parkalypse. That's a great name. Uh, thanks very much. Uh, we are basing these off of Transformers. So that's Sunstreaker. This is an inspirational image from Sunstreaker. Uh, and then this one is Wheeljack. And I don't have any images of Wheeljack ready at the moment because it's been a couple weeks since we worked on it but um do i have a thumbnail maybe nope oh there's real wheel jack uh that's ironhide map megatron megatron sun Shaker. yeah i don't have real jack um wait a minute where'd it go come on there it is too many buttons so wheel jack uh, has a kind of a cool head design, so we kind of used Wheeljack as like the inspiration for this. And this is just my make everything to progress factory, so it's not really super efficient. It's just meant to like make motors and and store everything in between. So that's why we've got all this stuff happening in here. And um, for design, like we we left this platform for all kinds of manual stuff. So as we need new things, we just kind of like manually pump them out here. We are automating heavy modular frames, which is good. But everything else is just kind of like basics. Uh, steel, all that stuff. Some more manual things. Let me show you the inside of Sunstreaker. We just finished that today. And I think you'll, if you like the outside, I think the inside you'll get a kick out of. The Transformers, especially the G1 Transformers, the really fun part was using all the primary colors. So this is making computers, circuit boards, and then also storing plastic. So everything gets smelted here. And then copper uh, wire, cable, and sheets. And then circuit boards. And everything gets sent down this way. Really, really clean. Really happy with the way that it turned out. Feels very transformer toy. <laughs> it's been fun. And so all the guts are down here. Oh, thanks very much, Jay. Appreciate that. This is not beautiful on the backside. The front looks good. We never really did finish the back. It's kind of a work in progress as we need. But while I'm thinking about it, though, let me just look at the front here. I want to have something similar. So do primary colors have set codes? Um, yeah. Yeah, I mean, I, tum I dumbed them down a little bit. My yellow is more of like a caution tape yellow. It's not like a pure yellow. You go into the, like, this is more like a, oh, wait a minute. Let me edit this. It's a little, it's a little more like an orangey yellow. Because the pure yellow is very, I don't know, sick looking. So it's a warmer, it's a warmer yellow. Um, yeah, so it's more of a hexagonal shape. I don't know if we have the space to do that. And let's go to concrete... See if I can crack out something that looks a little bit better. Don't mind that edge. So maybe we can start with that. Well, last time we tried this, we did not have the hover pack, so this should be a lot easier.
kind of like a longer look to it. Now this, I think, has to stay open. Uh, oh, maybe. Not the end of the world if I take it all the way down. But then under this, I'd like to have this shape. And have it not meet in the middle like a triangle. Which is tricky. Don't want to make that green, but I feel like it needs to be some sort of color contrast here. I feel like we used some chrome in some places. Where did we put the chrome? I think it's mostly in the pillars. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mostly in the pillars. Right, okay. So gross. Can't wait to fix it. That thing makes the coolest noises. I wish you could turn it up. Be great. Yeah, uh, probably too dark. Some nice contrast. Now that I'm on the wheeljack, I should just make I should just move this image. Um, it is turn that off. Put up the board. Let's go. There we go. So I tend to have like an inspiration board for shapes and colors and stuff. And you can see like the the blades and the wings that he has. I really think that would be fun to add some stuff like that. And if I switch over to the other image for me. He's got a fair amount of black and, and dark colors on him. I should really incorporate a little bit more of that. So maybe this is an all right direction to take. You can't really see it from down here anyway. It does sort of feel like an extension of the window. If we do that, and then I have to think about this from the inside and the outside at the same time. We have these pillars, which I do like. We use the big ones, I think, at the front. Uh, no, they're just small, but they're just, they're in farther. So all of a sudden this becomes a two wide door. And that 
allows us to have this stuff in it. actually works out pretty good inside. I don't mind that. We had something very similar over there. Won't be able to see that in here. Now, why did that not connect? I guess I just have it sort of differently. Um, feel like I want this to be a little bit different. If we can get away with these instead and have it be a little bit open underneath perhaps all of a sudden that's looking a lot better I didn't realize these had such rough corners on them. I guess I've been mostly looking at the tops of things. I don't know. We might be able to sort this out with walls. Don't know that I want to. Alright, detail. Again, we can sort out how this looks. And then I don't know about that. And inside, I feel like we need to have it closed like that, but then I also want to drop it down a little bit. Oh, is that not in the middle? Shoot. Uh, I prefer... I think the wider one. Max distance. Delara, hello. Uh, if I remember correctly, it depends on what kind of material you use, if they are rough or not. Well, these are just half foundations. And the material is just a concrete foundation. I guess the halves are just a little bit more textured.
But I think that is a vast improvement over what I had. Uh, let's improve this part a little bit. How do I want to do that? I would say this would be solid. And why is that sticking out like that? I don't remember that being a thing. These must have not been snapped. I must have snapped them to the outside of the wall. Oh, that's annoying. Yeah. Hmm. 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 That's probably going to cause a problem. These are in the right space, although... No, maybe they're not. I do dislike it when you snap to the wrong thing and then you end up having to... Um, backtrack. Although, I guess... It might not be the worst thing in the world. This won't move, so this should be fine. So we can finish this up. When we're trying to do things like this with overlapping bricks, I get a ton of Z fighting and then something you have to do to prevent it. Um, you can delete and replace items sometimes and it will fix it. But a lot of times what I do is... Um, I use uh, the nudge so you can get in here and see it's red so it looks like you're gonna place it over top of the thing and then hit H control and then towards you and it bumps it out a half meter right so then you can add in a layer of like whatever color you want and it's not gonna Z fight and it's only out by like a little bit and it provides some cool depth it catches shadows and stuff I mean it's not the best game for that but I find that that's usually a good a good trick. That's how I did all of this stuff here, right? And these are just regular walls on top of foundations. All right. Inside is looking weird. Uh, I don't know why that is dark. This is the real inside wall. So the fact that this is not the same shape is a little strange. So there is a gap that I'm not a crazy fan of. I obviously never even finished this area too. So we can we can fix that by moving it later. I would just rather have a design that I like. But I much prefer this to the other side. So this to me, granted the inside needs work. It's much better than I have over here. Right? Like that just feels fluffy. Looks like marshmallows. Not a big fan. We do have some other things to accommodate over here, so it's not going to be the easiest. More function happening on this side. We also have that. I don't know why that was even there. There's something behind this, I think, maybe? No, just a weird... 
a weird kind of jut thing. I'm not sure why I even made that. I guess maybe to match up with this. Because it doesn't really... Yeah, it doesn't serve a purpose at all, so... Get rid of that. Uh, sometimes helpful Z fighting to color them and try a different material. Yeah, that works too. That works too. Yeah, this is just a little bit strange. Maybe that's one of the reasons why I didn't frame it. Also, this is very much the haphazard way of getting power out of the building. I'm not even sure where that comes from. Must be downstairs. Yeah, 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 okay. Yeah, that's certainly an improvement. Alright, let's see if we can quickly replicate this on the other side. Oh, we don't have the same window dressing thing on this side, do we? Hmm, 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 hmm. That's a weird... Some odd Z fighting going on there, too. Why do those overlap? Out by another bit. And then down with the big ramps. And we're higher on this side. So we have to accommodate for that too. Now, did I put those in the middle? Yeah, full foundation. Now, I don't remember where they were vertically. I find one of the challenging things about Satisfactory is when you're building something this large and you're trying to do some symmetry to it, it can be very tricky. Yeah, so they're up by a meter in order to get that to work right. So I'll have to increase the height. Auto rotate! Yay, that's not what I want at all. go up two or three.
two, just two. And then there is two meter. Okay. I feel like that was a very tricky wall to deal with. Now this one is going to be hard because I don't want to block this stuff inside. This becomes tricky. Right, so I don't want to do that. So this is where we have to have a different wall down here than we do up front. So this is maybe where this one has to change, differ from the other side. that feel off? I know it's not, but it feels off. big angles underneath it. Oh, I should check to see. Feel like it was more than two. So it's three meters from the middle. Nice. Is the sky pink? Uh, yes, it is. And actually, I think I might have to wrap it up for there for today. Um, I don't. Something's going on here that's not quite lining up. Yeah, I just. I definitely have some some adjusting to do, but I think that's looking better than we had before. Definitely more in line with the build. I need to add more. I've got some dark stuff coming in here. It's more of just like a gap, but I feel like I could lean into that and maybe add in some chrome, some um, 
black lines in there, which could be cool. It's a little bit more contrast. Don't think that's visible inside. It is, but we could change that with um, that layering technique I showed you. Anyway, uh, like I said, let's think where I'm going to wrap up for today. Uh, if you want to check out things like the VOD channel, then that's a great way to um, to catch up on all the things. The last several VODs have been building Sunstreaker, which looks pretty cool at nighttime, I got to say. that's I'm really happy with the way that, that that turned out. That's pretty slick. Pretty fun. Um, I will thank... Thank Cosmic Dancer uh, for the moderating and hanging out this afternoon uh, and also to Sweet Sandy for the moderating and hanging out this afternoon and for the week. The whole week has been just super, super fun. Uh, I do need to get back to Minecraft. Uh, not right now, but uh, in the next few streams, we're going to have to get going on on that as well. Uh, the month of September and October have been heavy on Satisfactory and that's cool, but I need to get back in the swing of things. Uh, I really appreciate all the support today. Thanks for the prime sub. Thanks so much for the follows and welcome into the new folks. A uh, couple of folks just discovering us here on, on Twitch. A couple of fans of the Spawn Chunks podcast coming in, which is great. I really appreciate that. Uh, always great to hear from new people. We are trying to grow the channel. So if you've enjoyed your time here, one of the easiest things that you can do is just tell a friend and point them towards my Twitch channel because the more eyeballs that, that watch, the better. Uh, there are VODs at Joel Duggan VODs on YouTube, so you can catch up on the whole series, which is great. Uh, you can also follow me on social media. I post when I go live. Generally speaking, it has been uh, Tuesday through Saturday at 1 o'clock Atlantic. Uh, that will change over the next couple weeks because we're going through a time change. So right now, 1 o'clock Atlantic is UTC minus 4 hours. No, minus 3 hours. It will switch to minus 4 hours uh, as of November 3rd. So just to kind of keep that in mind if you're planning on coming by more often. Um, but a huge thank you to everyone for the support this week. The stream stickers are doing really well. People seem to really like them. Uh, I am working on some custom sounds and some custom stickers. Uh, so keep your eyes out for that. Uh, check out the Spawn Chunks podcast as well as the Citadel Cafe podcasts, both on YouTube, both available on your favorite podcasting platform. And uh, we'll see what happens with the satisfactory save. I'm not sure how I'm going to move this forward, but I, I've got a funny feeling that this is the save that I'm going to combine with um, with Devastator. So we'll have to see what's up. Anyway, that's going to be it for me for now. I'm going to pass you on to somebody else playing Minecraft. Not Minecraft, sorry. Uh, satisfactory. I got Minecraft on the brain. And we'll see who's going to be the raid victim. I mean, recipient of all of you fine folks. Uh, who's playing Satisfactory? Anybody? How is no one playing Satisfactory right now? I guess Matt, Factorio is really big right now. Um, let's go with uh, Catherine of Sky. Never heard of them, but they're playing Satisfactory. And oh no, wait a minute, Captain E Rock. Captain E Rock is someone we raided the other day. I think we can absolutely send y'all to Captain E Rock. That was a good time. Uh, thanks so much, folks. Enjoy Captain E Rock. And I'll see you on Tuesday. Cheers.